Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft 365 Certified Teams Administrator Associate MS700. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. To share please. The question is, what are the key responsibilities of a Microsoft Team Administrator? Your answer should be, as a Microsoft Teams Administrator, key responsibilities include <coughs> managing team settings and policies, configuring communication and collaboration features, monitoring and troubleshooting team services, and ensuring compliance and security within the team's environment. Our next question is, how do you handle user management in Microsoft Teams? Your answer should be, user management in Teams involves tasks such as adding and removing users, assigning licenses, managing user roles and permissions, and configuring user settings like policies and permissions through the Microsoft 365 Admin Center or PowerShell. Our next question is, how do you configure guest access in Microsoft Teams? Your answer should be, guest access allows external users to participate in Teams channels and conversations. To configure guest access, you can enable it at organization level in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and then specify which teams and channels guest can access. Our next question is, what are the some security best practices you would implement for Microsoft Teams? Your answer should be, security best practices for Teams include enforcing strong authentication methods, setting up conditional access policies, configuring data loss prevention, DLP policies, enabling encryption for data at rest in transit and regularly auditing user access and activities. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Our next question is, how would you troubleshoot issues with Microsoft Teams? Your answer should be, troubleshooting team issues involves checking service health status, in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, verifying network connectivity and firewall settings, reviewing team logs and usage reports, and using PowerShell commands to diagnose and resolve specific problems. Our next question is, describe the process of creating and managing Teams policies. Your answer should be, Teams policies define settings and permissions that control user access and behavior within Teams. To create and manage policies, you can use the Teams Admin Center or PowerShell to configure settings such as messaging, meeting and guest access policies. What is the difference between the messaging policies and meeting policies in Teams? Your answer should be Messaging policies. Messaging policies control chat and channel messaging features such as message formatting, file sharing and external communication settings. Meeting policies. Meeting policies define settings for online meetings and calls including permissions for video, audio and screen sharing as well as meeting expiration and recording options. If you are preparing for any certification, you can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you.